Hello everyone, my name is Emma and I am the crochet designer behind Emma Crafts Design. Um, I'm coming to you today from Australia, so it's our spring but it's still a bit chilly which is why I'm wearing a jumper. Um, and today I want to actually talk to you about the materials um, and different tools that you will need to make amigurumi because these are the main things that I design. So if you haven't heard of amigurumi before, they are those really cute or I find them really cute crochet toys and you can make them just for decorations or you can make them as play food. So for example here I have a little strawberry that I've made for my son and he's really obsessed with it um, and likes to scare and likes to carry his strawberry around. So let's get started. The first thing you will need of course is yarn. So I personally really like using cotton yarn because I feel like the stitches look really nice when you use cotton rather than acrylic. But of course you can use whatever you have on hands. And the really good thing with amigurumi is that you can actually use a lot of your spare yarn because you generally don't need very huge amounts of yarn to make your toys. So here with me today I have some um, cotton yarn. So it is um, yarn and colors must have. And the first thing you want to do is you want to check what kind of recommended hook size um, they want for this yarn. So at the back here, if you look on the ball band, you will see that they recommend um, a 2 to a 3.5 millimeter hook to use with this. Now to make amigurumi, you really want to make your stitches very tight because you don't want the stuffing to come out of your toys. So I would recommend using slightly smaller hooks than what you would normally use. Now I crochet very tightly. So I know that for this kind of yarn, um, using a three millimeter hook generally is enough for me. So this is what I have here with me. Um, it's a three millimeter hook from Yarn and Colors as well. And I know that this will work really well with this yarn. So um, I just recommend that you do a few tests for yourself to make sure that the hook that you're using for the yarn that you have will work um, and see what you really want is you want the fabric of your amigurumi to be quite tight so that nothing really comes out so you don't want any holes in there. All right. So the next thing you will need, of course, um, is stuffing because those are stuffed toys. So you want to make sure that you have some stuffing handy when you are making your amigurumi. Now, I actually have a really big one kilo bag of stuffing because I just try to buy it in bulk. Um, but it's not very practical if you want to carry your projects around and crochet on the go. So I just use um, this cute little bag. It's just an organza bag and you can just put some of your stuffing in it and it's good to just carry around. Um, although because it is organza, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit fluffy. You have some stuffing kind of coming out as well, but that's okay. Um, another thing that I find really useful, and this is not super necessary to invest into fancy ones, but it's always really good, is you want stitch markers to be able to mark the beginning or the end of your rounds. Um, and this is because with amigurumi, instead of um, traditional crochet when you would crochet in rows, for example, to make a blanket, you are actually crocheting in rounds here. So you can see, you just go around and around. And because you crochet in round, it's very important that you know it when you are starting that round, because most instructions for amigurumi patterns are actually done in rounds. So... Um, I like to use either those ones. So those are safety, they're kind of like safety needles. And they just um, clip um, and unclip. Or you can also use um, things like lobster clasps, clasps. Or I've even seen people using um, jewelry, you know, those earrings, those cl um, clip earrings that you can use. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different ones that you can use, but for crochet, you definitely need one that you can remove and put back on. So it's not like knitting where you have those rings, ring markers. You can't use those with crochet. So you need to make sure that you can clasp and unclasp your markers. 
Uh, another important thing when you are doing amigurumi is you'll probably notice a lot of them have several parts. So for example, um, in this one, you have the main body, which is all done together, but then you also have that stem there and the vine. And of course, you need to sew those together. So what I recommend is, so you obviously need needles to do this, but what I recommend is you want a needle with a really big eye. Like you can see there. So you want the eye to be big enough so that you can actually thread your yarn without splitting it. And then um, it's your choice whether you want a very pointy needle or a more blunt needle. Um, because we're actually just going through the stitches, you don't need a pointy needle. But I find that it can be useful in some cases. So yes, sewing needles, very important. Um, I've also seen some really good um, needles that are actually curved and that helps you to go into your stitches. But I don't own any of those. Um, I just... I've been working with those ones for years and they work really well for me. So it's just really a matter of also finding what works for you. Um, and finally, so those are not mandatory, but they can be pretty cool. Um, we're going to talk about safety eyes. So safety eyes um, are plastic eyes. So they come in two parts. They have the one part that's the eye itself that you're going to see on the actual amigurumi and then you have the back of it that you use to secure that eye in place so just a little disclaimer um i would not recommend using those if you are making toys for kids just because they can be um removed although they're really hard to remove so for example um i've never been able to remove them myself but you never know with kids you know they're small parts they're ingestible just in case you don't want to risk it. So this is what safety eyes can look like on a toy. But you don't have to use those if you would prefer or if you're making your toys for kids. You can also use other techniques like um, you can just embroider. So just using a thread and a needle, just embroider details on the face. Or you can use like what I did with this one. Um, I actually use felt. So I cut felt and then I sew the felt on top of the face. Um, and this is a lot more safe because obviously it's sewn in really well. So you can't really remove it easily. And it's no like small plastic part. So, you know, a bit less dangerous if you're dealing with kids. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the material for Amigurumi that you will need. Um, let me know down in the comments if there is anything that I missed or if there's anything that you really like to use to make your own amigurumi um, that I have forgotten or not talked about. I would love your opinion on that. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel to see more amigurumi tips and as well as free patterns. So I will actually also film um, free tutorial for patterns that I have made. Um, thank you very much for being with me today and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.